Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is a vlog video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get into it. Hey everyone, so today is a new day and I am on my way to get my nails done. Um, this is what my nails are looking like after about two, maybe two and a half weeks. Um, these are my nails, I just have an overlay over them. And please ignore the background noise, my car is heating up so you may be able to hear that. Um, but I was uh, contemplating on if I wanted to keep longer nails or if I wanted to go shorter. Um, I think I'm gonna go shorter. Um, I don't know, I thought that I missed my long curved nails. I, I like long nails, don't get me wrong, but I've, I'm just, I don't know. I'm so, I don't wanna say I'm so used to having nails that aren't long. Um, I don't really wanna say short just because my nail bids are pretty long in my opinion. So even if I get them, you know, even if I get them cut down, it still doesn't look super short to me. But I do like a shorter nail on myself now just because I think it looks better on me. But this is long enough for me. I'm like, I need to get these cut down. Um, I am thinking about getting like a color today. Um, nothing super out there. So I'll either get nude, a new color, or I'll get red. All right, so I just put up to a nail shop and it is super packed. So I'm not getting my nails done today. <laughs> just because I don't, I don't, I don't wanna wait. I don't wanna sit there and wait for my turn. <laughs> welcome back so today is another day um this vlog is going to be over the course of probably a week and a half or two weeks so this morning or this afternoon i actually have a podcast interview the podcast interview is going to happen in about eight minutes i'm super excited for it so make sure that you're tuning in to the britney bundles podcast to hear our very special guest Um, and she's really, really great at what she does. She's going to be sharing secrets on how to start a successful beauty business, um, a beauty and hair business, excuse me. She does a, she does a lot. She does a, a lot of good things for the entrepreneurial community. So I'm excited to have her on the show. Um, after this, I have to run quickly to another meeting because I'm looking at office spaces. Um, I am needing an office space for credit repair and consultations because and when I say consultations, like credit repair, I do my initial consultation and then I have business consultations where I work with entrepreneurs as well. And I have just, I just need more space. I need more space and I need an area that is separate from, in order for me to be as productive as I want to be, in my opinion. Sometimes just separating yourself from your home, even though you work from home, is really important. So I want to look at a few different office spaces. I'll take you with me. I don't know if I'll be able to get a lot of footage or not, because I'm not going to lie. My primary goal is not to vlog that appointment, but it's really to make sure that I like the space so that I can get in as soon as possible. Um, I also got my nails done yesterday. I decided to, I'm not even going to tell you yet. I'm going to wait. I'll tell you all after the interview, what I decided to get for those of you that are interested in, well, I'll just tell you now. So I got my nails cut. I got them cut. These are my natural nails. I've been wearing an overlay for the longest now. Um, my, nail actually, my nails actually grew out and I was contemplating on keeping my long nails and just having them grow out. But I honestly am liking a shorter nail, um, <clears throat> excuse me, just on me, you know, just for my personal preference. Um, I know how to do things with long nails, so it's not like I was challenged or I, I can't say that it was easier for me to do anything with shorter nails. It's just I like shorter nails now. So I got this color, which I really don't love. It is growing on me. And I got my nails cut down and I got the shape change from the point stiletto shape to like a round um, almond shape. So that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the Zoom for our um, interview. And I'll pick you all back up probably when I'm on my way to the next meeting or when I'm on my, when I'm actually there viewing the um, office space. Well, hello and welcome back to another podcast episode with Brittany Bundles. You are listening to the Brittany Bundles podcast where we empower people through entrepreneurship. And today we have a very special guest. 
we have Nikki Smith. Nikki Smith is the owner of Nikki Smith Hair Collection. All right, so I just finished a podcast episode. It was a success. Um, I learned so much and she has, Nikki Smith has so much information to share with everyone interested in starting a business in general, but especially those of you that are interested in starting any type of beauty business, you want to tune into that episode. Um, again, my Brittany Bundles podcast link is always down below and I'll probably upload the podcast to YouTube too. So you'll be able to see it there without going over to the podcast platform, um, which, you know, the podcast platforms are um, on what Apple Music, um, Spotify and some other areas, but I'm going to go ahead. Why, do, why is my heat on? I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm um, heading to look at some office spaces and I'll pick you all back up in a little bit. for you all but I didn't include a lot because I hate parking ramps no that's not okay, okay. I didn't include a lot because um, I was really trying to understand like what he was you know offering and stuff like that so Yeah, I don't like parking ramps. They're just so confusing sometimes. Some parking ramps are really good, but some are very, very difficult to, and then people be, are flying through them sometimes. So it's like, oh, I hate it. And then I have someone on my bumper that wants to go super fast and I'm not going fast because there are people that, you know, are walking in the parking ramps and <clears throat> see some people that are trying to pull out and it's just a lot going on in this small space. So I don't like it. But um, I did enjoy the um, tour. Um, I included a little bit of footage. I didn't want to include a lot like I was going to say just because I was really focused on trying to see if this was a good spot for me. Um, I do like a lot of the things about it, but I just, I don't know. One of the things that I don't like is this ramp. And this ramp is something that I'm going to have to accept if I take the parking. <clears throat> Okay, so we're out of the parking ramp. And like I was saying, um, I don't like the parking ramp. And I, I'm used to, like, when I'm, the last office space that I had, I had my own office in my salon. So, of course, you know, I'm not having that type of space. But it's just a better, it's more of a privacy when you have your own, mm -hmm. like, separate unit, in my opinion. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to feel comfortable working there all the time. I don't know. But I like the fact that they have those options. They have printers, fax machines, they have like coffee, they have a commons area, they have a lot of different um, meeting areas that you that come along with your membership. And so I let him know that I will let him know by tomorrow. 
Um, I really haven't looked at any other office spaces, but I really don't feel like it either because I have a lot to get done. And like I said, the only reason that I'm looking for an office space is because I need to do work outside the home. Just because when I'm at home, before I had Tyra, my baby girl, it was easier for me to do a lot of work at home. Now that I have her, although she's being watched when I'm recording and worked and working, it's just the fact that it's just the fact that if she knows I'm home, she's going to cry. And there, I've even tried different things where um, I'll try to like go upstairs in my office space without her knowing. And she will still sense me there or hear me or whatever, hear my voice and start crying. So it's really hard for me to get a lot of things done. It's really hard for me to conduct a lot of different um, interviews, consultations um, for my podcast, for credit repair. There's been some podcast interviews that I've had to reschedule um, just because some of that I've even canceled because our schedules conflicted um, because I don't have that quiet recording space. So I'm, I'm looking to have that office, like I said, so I can be more productive. I can have more of a quiet professional setting. I can have um, a place where clients can come and can come into the office if they have any questions or if they want to meet face to face. And I can um, get a lot of stuff done because I need to be able to think and I need to be able to not have so much going on in order for me to be as productive as I know I can be. So that's that. Um, I will pick you all back up in just a little bit. I'm going to head to my mom's and I also want to head to the grocery store. I will pick you all back up, like I said, in a little bit. Okay, so now I am outside of my mom's house. I'm about to go in for just a little bit and talk to her. Um, I do need to get another video up because I haven't posted a video since my last one. Um, obviously, I haven't posted a video since my last one, but... Um, <laughs> my last video was like four days ago and i'm trying to get better with creating more videos but it's just i have so much more on my plate than i used to that it is challenging for me to create as much content and get it out and edit it as fast as i want to so i have another business video coming out which is going to be on chargebacks i got a comment the other day and the comment reads how do you handle chargebacks it's the comment i have so um i haven't replied back i see it. i haven't replied back just because i don't want to forget to edit that video and get it out and then once it's edited i'm going to of course heart the comment and i'm going to include a link to that video um so i'm going to do like a voiceover video but i need to still edit it and do my voiceover part um and get it uploaded to youtube so i hope to have that done at least by tomorrow and upload it i want to have that done before friday i'm also in the process of retying my hair so i did all of this part like this part in the ponytail in the back is done but i still have this part that i need to redo um so i'm going to be working on that tonight as well as long as it's done before friday i'm fine so right now like i said i'm at my mom's house i'm about to go in talk to her for a little bit um she actually is starting her business as well i'm really excited for her i don't know if she wants me to share what she's starting or what she's doing but if she is wanting to share then i will share it with you all but i'm about to go in and i throw my windows up and i'm gonna talk to you all in just a little bit So good morning, everyone. Um, I retired, finished retiring my hair last night, so I'm really happy about that. Um, today on the agenda, I need to get a video out and edit it. Um, I also need to uh, record another video. I was supposed to record my charge off videos a few days ago. It just didn't happen. Um, I am also needing to, what else? There was something else I needed to do. I already mailed out my orders a few days ago, so I need to um,
go back through my website and um, I'm going to reach out to my abandoned carts, um, take a look at my orders, and I'm going to shoot to mail out the orders that I have either later on today or tomorrow. Because um, I try to go to the post office twice a week at this point. So I don't try to do it like every day when I get an order, um, unless I have the time. But like I said, it's been very, very kind of jam packed with my schedules. All right, hi everyone. So I'm trying to think of everything that I have touched on in this vlog to kind of sum everything up. Okay, so um, I think I touched on everything except the fact of my decision with the um, office spaces that I looked at. So I ended up texting the, um, the um, office manager that showed me the suites yesterday and I let him know that I'm going to take some more time to think about it only because I don't feel that I'm really subtle on those spaces I feel like I will take the one of those spaces um if I don't find anything else but I don't I don't want to just go ahead and sign the lease knowing that I don't feel completely compelled to do so at this time and the reason like I mentioned earlier is really because of the parking ramp not just the ramp but <clears throat> excuse me when you get out of the parking ramp you literally have to walk across the street and I don't want to do that now and it's a, it's a pretty busy street and I don't I know I'm not going to want to do that in the winter time so just kind of trying to balance everything out um also another thing that I wanted to mention um is kind of explaining why I do want an office space just a little bit. I talk a lot about making money on the go, mobile money. I also talk about how when I had my salon, I really didn't like the responsibility that was on me to be there every day. Um, of course, I had a salon manager and I say, of course, for those that have followed my journey and you know, um, I also had stylists there, so I didn't have to be there all the time. But when you are running a business and you're working with different people, you may have um, experienced the fact that not everyone's going to be there all the time sometimes people are going to call out sick sometimes people have other family arrangements it's just like a you know like a job you know sometimes employees aren't always there right and so when they're not there if you don't have anyone else to fill in then you need to be there and with me already having things that i need to do me already having my life and my children as well to be there consistently or to be there for a span like if someone left and i needed to find someone else to fill and i couldn't I would need to be there or if someone quit I would need to be there so it was it was a lot it was very um it took a lot of time out of my day and I can say that it was stressful at times I made a whole video <clears throat> excuse me about that um and it's titled something along the lines of um my it's salon something I'll link the video down below I forgot the name of the title because I recorded it a few years ago um, but with this office space, it's not like I'm going to need to be there where, you know, it's, it's actually, it's an actual franchise or it's an actual, um, like business location where people are going to just be coming in during all business hours. I will have some clients there for my credit repair. That's the goal. Um, however, it's not, it doesn't have to be open all the time. So it gives me more freedom to still make money on the go and be able to have a space to utilize when I'm needing to do different Zoom calls and when I'm needing to do different paperwork for credit consultations and things like that. So that is why I'm looking for an office space, um, just in case some of you are wondering, like, well, I thought you said you really didn't want to stay in a setting each day. I'm not going to be in that office all day, every day. OK, so um it may work for me because I'm not going to have to cross that street that I was mentioning. That was one of my hesitations and go in that parking garage very frequently, only when I'm using the bit, um, building. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my voice. Um, but still, it's just a lot to take in and consider. Um, I do plan on filming the video for um, chargebacks. Just kind of going over chargebacks a little bit later. And other than that... I don't really have much going on that I need to get done like ASAP. Um, I did mail out orders a few days ago at the post office. I did record the podcast interview. So that is done. Um, 
and what else what else credit repair that service is back open so if you're interested in any credit repair be sure to go over to bchcreditrepairs.com. You can now book a free consultation. I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you have anything else that you want to see on this channel, be sure to leave it down below. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.